What's going on guys? It's your boy Hollywood, better known as the Gamer Tech, Stuntman Gene in the YouTube channel. Lambo Fit! Back at it again without the white band. So hope you guys are having a great day. Yo, so uh, today's video is actually kind of different. So I was editing today's video and I was like, yo, this is like going to be a great video. And then I was like, yo, I didn't want to like mix too many things in one video. So uh, as, as you guys can see in the title, uh, there's a, a new car and more important than the new car itself, I'm going to do a review of that car later on because um, I just think it'd be cool. But uh, I, I, I think the conversation that I had with Swaggy C warranted just having a video dedicated to everything that goes on with that. Just because if you've been in the channel for a long time and you've been here from the beginning, uh, there's some parallels to things that I've already discussed that happened to me personally, as well as to see it happening to Swaggy right now. And then obviously the methods of trying to get past that. So uh, I, thought, I thought this was a good standalone video. Hope you guys enjoy it. Uh, if you like the video, make sure you hit the thumbs up Give me a like, leave a comment, and uh, if you're not already subscribed to the channel, make sure you uh, subscribe, hit the bell, turn on those notifications. I post a video every Sunday, Tuesday, and Thursday. So I hope you guys enjoy it, and I'll see you guys in a few. All right? Woo! Yo, Lambo Fit. So we out here. I was just streaming, and uh, yo, Swaggy was like, yo, I'm going to come through. Swaggy had to come through in that new thing, if y'all ain't see. Yo, my boy Swaggy. Yo, what is this? What is this? Is this a all black, all black everything? Black What's driver, up, <laughs> black Tesla, Model X, big Model X. Yo, I see this man. He out here doing it super big. I'm out here doing mad medium. Swaggy out here doing it super big. <laughs> yeah, right. I'm trying to follow through you, bro. Bro, this man out here killing it. Congratulations. Hold on, let me push that seat back. There you though. go, bro. As much as you can, bro. What do you want? Yo, it smell hot and juicy in here. It do. And boiling crab. <laughs> yeah, them, them crab fries, huh? Yeah. Oh, what up, bro? What's up, man? How you feeling? Did I close? Yeah, you did. I closed automatically. Oh, I'm like, oh. I see. You fancy, bro. <laughs> That's what <laughs> this is. <shit, yeah. laughs> you fancy. Yo. Shit opens and shit closes. I can. Bet. Soft close. Soft close, yeah. Oh, man. What's good, bro? Yo, so hold on. You gotta tell you gotta tell the people, bro. What's going on? So man? what? So this is obviously the last time we saw you. You were driving a Range Rover. Yep. So what? 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 What is this? What is? So what this is a, a, a Tesla. Let me take the mask off. Actually, this is a Tesla Model X. I've always uh, your uh, your. Oh. Yep. So, so this is a Tesla Model X. I've always wanted a Tesla Model X. Um, last time y'all saw me, I was driving a Range Rover to see if that's what Bailey wanted. But she ended up wanting a uh, Model X as well, or Tesla in general. So, I went to the dealership and um, I tried to uh, lease it at first and a piece of advice for you guys is like no matter how much money you got if your credit score is not well or up to par they don't care they won't say all right you got x amount of money or you paid you got cash like they want bruh, <laughs> bruh. You, like, the channel no yo, yo we we went through this so they they saw me when i went to the dealership to try to get the hellcat and they were like yeah bro unless you're just gonna put all the money down like they wanted the granted they didn't want everything like, but they wanted yeah, 40 g's that's a lot of money i was like bro you want 40 g's and i'm gonna have dodge on the front of my car <laughs> like <laughs> you big tripping so i'm like yo that is yo you see it here and this is a multi-million dollar man yo you gotta get your credit it's not just it's not just credit because obviously my credit score was tight my credit score was tight my history was tight because i never missed a payment i also never took out a big loan so that it has something to do with that, it when you try to do thing. it like it's not just long-term credit history it's saying like yo have you ever asked the bank for a hundred thousand dollars before so it don't matter how much cash you got if you got to ask for a hundred thousand dollars they want to see a history of you making yep. payments so it's like it's, if it's not one thing it's another like if, if you don't got the cash or if you got the cash you need the credit score if you got the credit score you need history and it's like it's always a thing so for me they denied me oh, i have my blinkers on they uh, denied me for uh, leasing. I wanted the lease to build my credit because a few years ago when I was broke, I got into some things like getting a Best Buy credit card and Bank of America not being able to pay it back. And even uh, Sally Mae uh, debt loan for college. So they said no, 
even with a co-signer, they said no. Um, Tesla's like really strict. Even with co-signers, they just don't trust the original person. I said, yo. Wow. I literally said, yo. See, I, I, I didn't know that. They I, are strict, I ain't bro. never tried to get a Tesla, though. But, I literally yo, that's said, crazy. Like, yo, the, the co-signer has a credit score of 750. They did not care. They did not care. Like they said, you don't. Wow. I'm like, so what's the point of a co-signer? Yeah, yeah. That, <laughs> you know what I mean? No point. No point. So like, so wait, let me ask you this. And I, 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 guys, I'm gonna ask this question. I feel like I know the answer because I know Swaggy. Like, I, but we gonna ask anyway. So I feel like we ain't gotta get into the sticker price because don't nobody need to be in your pockets like for that. For sure. But for what I can estimate that this car costs, they didn't give you an option where you could have like put like. Even if you just put eighty percent of the car down, bro. and then just finance the last little bit, just so it could like help build credit, the, bro. I literally told them, hey, I want to lease it for three years, right? right? With X amount of miles, it costs this much per month, not per month, per year. What you guys are charging, I will pay the entire lease up front. I will pay literally to the exact dollar of the entire lease up front. And then afterward, just let me finance it so I can yeah. you know, keep the car. Like at least to own. Yeah, at least to own, I'll finance it to keep the car and build my credit. They said no. I said, I'm giving you three years worth. They said no. I'm like, you know what, Tesla? You guys are pissing me off. I'm just going to get the i or a Lambo or something. <laughs> Yo, wait, all right, so look, so, yo, Tesla, we, we, we got to talk, like, because, honestly, I've never wanted a Tesla. This was, like, this man's dream car. Right? I never wanted a Tesla, but this thing is nice. I ain't going to front. This thing, this thing is real nice. But, like, yo, like, if you got somebody coming in saying, I will pay three years up front of the lease. Like, right this second. Y'all got to y'all gotta do something better in your system, yo. Something, cause, man. Because I know it's people out there that have gotten Tesla's repoed. So, like, some yeah, somewhere yeah, in your, yeah. your running of systems and balances and checks and whatever, you ain't do. Elon. Yo, Elon. Elon. Yo, yo somebody somebody tag Elon in these comments. And, like, Elon, you need to hit up Swaggy C directly. Somebody tell Elon yeah. hit my phone. Bro. Yeah, y'all y'all need to talk, bro. Like, y'all need to talk. Anyway, all right. So, you was like, yo, I'm over it. I'm going to go get an I-8 or a Lambo or yeah. something. So, then what happened? And then, uh, literally, it took about, you know, two weeks of me just sitting there. And then I ended up renting another Tesla just to half of the weekend. I realized I love the car too much. And instead of, instead of paying rentals, like, you know, 5K, 4K for a whole week of a Tesla, I'm like, you know what? I might just get my own because I love the car so much. No matter how many times I rent a Lamborghini or an i8, I don't want it long term. Right, it's it's right, a right. nice car to go out to dinner with, show off to your friends, but like driving it day to day, no, nah, I'd rather have a Tesla. So I went. I literally went online. It's cool, Lambo fit. We, you know, everybody had their own. We gonna, we still get a Lambo. Listen, like, don't, don't get. And I'm gonna drive that every day. <laughs> and bumps and all. Every day I Listen, will be driving that thing. Don't, don't get it twisted. <laughs> like I had the i8. I didn't have the oh, a Tesla the Lambo, but I loved it for like the first five days. Me personally, I, you had a yours. Yeah, yeah, yeah. the truck. Right? Yeah, 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 yeah. But um, I, I actually loved the yours. Believe it or not. Um, it was just four times expensive as the yeah. most expensive Tesla. Yeah, that, you yeah, know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. So I was like, do I want to be, you know, help the environment or do I want a, a cool Lambo? <laughs> yeah, he said, help <laughs> yo, we care about that. Yo, we recycle cans, bro. We recycle cans, all right? We don't, we, we, that's not, a fact. We not at that level of, I, I gotta get better at that. Yeah. I don't be recycling. I just I, throw it in the trash. But I got you. I, I gotta get I got better you. at that. We, we, we gonna grow together. Give and take, give and take. So I was like, you know what? Let me just get the Tesla and, my goal is, because the idea was to lease it for three years, give it back, and go back and forth, but I know I'm going to have a mansion next year in two years, so I'm going to just... Speak that. Claim that. Have, Wait, say that. I mean? I, people people missed that. What you just saying? I'm going to have a mansion next year or in two years, so... Next year. I'm, I'm going to say it for him. Next yeah, year. Yeah, talk to it, actually. Bet. I'm going to have a mansion, and it's my, I might as well just... All right, if I got to test them on another car, I just have the car in the driveway. You know what I mean? Like, back and forth, but I, I don't want to have one car and switch it back and forth, which I wanted to originally, and I still kind of do for the credit, you know what I mean? But it just depends on, on who you really are. Right now, I just bought it in straight cash. Like, you know what, let me just pay it off in cash. It's not that big of a deal. It's not that much money. I would pay it off, I paid it. And then uh, I have my credit to build my own credit, and I'm on Bailey's credit card as the authorized user. Um, Bet. Brother than that. Yo, so we, we've talked Brother about this, X. and that's why the channel, y'all know, I am right now working on building credit because that's why we gonna start with the hellcat like as soon as i can get that hellcat yep. that hellcat will finance well not finance but showing the payment history yeah, on that yeah. hellcat i'll keep that for a year that'll show uh so i can go and get that lamborghini yours 
and then from the Lamborghini Urus, I don't know what was going to be the in between car because there's definitely going to be something else yep. in that in between yep. before we get that Aventador SVJ Roadster. Yep. But like, I'm, I'm y'all gonna see the whole journey with that because like, trust and believe. If I could have walked into the dealership and just dropped that, dropped that bag, I would have. <laughs> but that that forty thousand hit, that would that was a hit. That, was, I, that that's a tough hit, bro. I was like, bro, I'm not uh, like. I hear people talk about leaps of faith. Oh, it's the difference between leaps of faith. Oh, and recklessness and like <laughs> I wasn't about that recklessness. I heard you. I heard you. Heard you. See the truck. <laughs> That's the UPS guy. He like yeah, my, my favorite favorite part was his hands just being like like bro relax. Yeah if like, it was a cop I'd I'd have checked. But yeah, I'm like Yeah, yeah. nah it was <laughs> brown suit. Not, brown, <laughs> not brown, black. Brown suit not black. If or it was blue. black I would have been in the bag tonight. Nah, we we would have been cool. I would have been like, you know what, officer, uh, it's new. We weren't sure exactly what see, happened. I didn't see a stop sign. Yeah, There's yeah, yeah. three cars in front of it. That's all trucks. It's it's crazy over here, but uh, yeah, nah. So that's congratulations, bro. This is this is big. So th is this your first new brand new car? This is my first. Uh, believe it or not, it's my first car ever. First car ever. Believe it or not, it's my first car ever. Yo, this man just said his first car ever is a Tesla Model X that he paid cash for. Yo. <laughs> Talk about yo inspiration, yo. Make sure y'all put inspiration in the chat right now. Make sure y'all y'all see this, yo. Swaggy. So the people who don't, I mean, I don't know how they wouldn't know because I put you, I put, I put your whole trailer in a video. But like for the people who don't know what you do, yo, give them a quick like, yo, who are you? What do you do? Like what what allows you at, at your age to be able to like walk into a dealership and buy a Tesla Model X? So for me, I'm an investor, a day trader, uh, um, on my way to being a venture capitalist. But long story short, no, I, I perfect it, and you can never really perfect something, but I, I got as good as I can at a certain skill and use that skill to leverage uh, my own self. Um, so I became a day trader, and once I made probably about you know 100K uh, with day trading, over the span of like maybe you know two years, so 50k a year, and then I'm mean, 75 a year, um, and then before, this is before TV, I got on TV and it kind of slowed things down because I was like, you know what, I'm gonna go from reality TV to being Will Smith, so I don't need this day trading stuff no more. And then I was like, no, you're stupid. Day trading pays you more than reality TV. So once <laughs> Always. I, yeah, exactly. So once I let go of that pipe dream of of being on TV, I fell in love with trading even more. And then I, you know, started trading full time again, started making more money, and then I even opened up an academy to teach other people how to trade. Yo, the swagacademy.com. We'll put a link in the comments below. Make sure you, because uh, and price is gonna go up soon, ain't it? Oh yeah, hell yeah, in about yeah. a month. So this video will be up like ASAP. So if you're looking into getting into forex trading, make sure you hit them up. Go to swagacademy.com because in August the price does go up. So oh, it go it goes all the way up. So go, so <laughs> all the way up. Me. Like we are doing so much. I like I partnered with Eric Thomas, the motivational speaker. He's the the vice president of operations with my company. Uh, same with a, a lady named Tiffany. Me and Austin, my videographer, are hiring two more editors. We've literally had five interviews today with different editors, just going thirty minute interviews, going through them, going through them, going through them, going through them, going through them. and it's like you know. The price got to go up to reflect how good of content, the quality of work, detail, you know what I mean? So Yo, it has to. Make, what's your YouTube channel so they can shout, shout uh, it out? So real it's youtube.com slash the swag academy. So, um, yeah, like I said, long story short, I dropped, like I said, a lot of six figures on, on a Tesla and not cash, but in cash, debit card. Um, because, like I said, I, once you get good at something, you, you put your all into one thing. Don't focus on five to ten things. Focus on one thing. And that one thing, once you get good at it, will open up ten different opportunities. And I think that's the the, the thing that people have. They realize that they see all these actresses and, and rappers and Rihanna and all of them. They're like, oh, well, they, they're in movies. They sing. They got clothing lines and skincare. No. Rihanna started off as a singer. That is it. She perfected that. That opened up, you know, Fenty, and it opened up commercial deal. It, it opens everything up. Same with, um, I forgot who else, but it's just all the, everybody in general. They go Will Smith, rapper, got that, perfected that. Then no, wait, hang on, waiting for somebody. Yeah. Uh, so, so what you're saying is, if I'm, if I understand you correctly, is that you saying getting real good at something opened up multiple streams of income. And it's important to have multiple streams of income. Oh, by far, it is. It is so important. Yo, do y'all see that door going up? <laughs> that door, it ain't. It ain't opening that. <laughs> that door is going up. Right. <laughs> What's going on? What up, Doc? From man, from man, Cosrick, Hollywood, Hollywood. Nice Hollywood. to meet you, bro. Yeah. So uh, I think the issue. Oh, you go. 
Yep. Yeah. yeah, so no, I think the issue with uh, everybody is they try to do a million different things instead of focusing on one thing and letting that one thing uh, open up opportunities for others. Because like I just said, Will Smith started off as a rapper. Once he got good at that, he went to TV. Then he went to this thing. And this, like, you got to focus on one thing, get great at it. And once you get great at it, you can open up leverages to everybody else. That's why I, I got what I got today, which is a car. You know what I'm saying? So same with Hollywood. I know he, he about to get a, a Lambo. I can't drive Lambo. So I, I guess I drove a Lambo. I, did, I didn't like how, how bumpy it was. That's me. Hey, different strokes for different folks. You, you know what I mean? mean? Like, I, I can I can sack. Because for me, the Lambo is the, is, that's the reward for me getting fully back in shape. That's you know what I mean? That's that's, that's that's the, hey, I made it. Because uh, to me, it, it represents two things. It represents financial independence and well-being right. and physical independence and well-being because I, I i mean i know y'all know youtubers out there that's fat and have lambos but i just can't subscribe to that like i can't i don't see how you can invest so much money in a car and it's so your, little yourself, time in yep. yourself i love that and i'm like bro i will not i don't care if right now i had 10 million dollars in the bank i wouldn't go buy a lambo because of my physical shape that right makes now. sense i was like i want to be both financially and physically healthy and that 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 to me is like that's why it's the goal. It ain't, you know I could I, I could honestly kind of care less about the Lambo specifically because who by the time that happens I may not even like like Lambos like that anymore. You know what I mean? I might bro. I might start liking like Ferraris or like bro, you know I, whatever. But I, that's a fact. Bro. But since I was a little kid I, I like I like Porsches and then I kind of outgrew Porsches and then I was like yo Lambos was like the next thing. So that that just became my goal. So it's just chasing your goals, but. Yo, I'm, uh, I just want to introduce y'all to Swaggy officially since we hadn't had an official introduction to him on the channel. I know the, the, the yeah, the, the videos just came back. Yo, I appreciate y'all with all the views, everybody hanging out. Make sure y'all go show Swaggy some love. Yo, you, uh, you stream? I stream? don't stream, I don't stream. Instagram, nothing like that? Um, my Instagram is Cosrich, you know, in front of Swaggy, just met Hollywood. How you doing, you know yeah. what I mean? We're going to get my boy uh, Cosrich out here, man. I'm telling yep, you. Yep, yep, yep. Great conversations already. Great conversations already. Bet. Bet, we on this, we on the move, y'all. All right, y'all, Lambo Fit, we out here. Every day, no breaks, no days off, no excuses. Let's go. Okay. Yeah. Yo guys, another great day, another great video. Hope you guys had a good time. Hope you enjoyed the conversation. Hope that there was a little bit of inspiration in there for you. And uh, I'll catch you guys later. And as always, I'm not trying to change the world. Just your perspective of it. Peace. Woo!